Now, if we're given 9 and a 6% of 30, go ahead and convert this into multiplication. Bring down the numbers, right? 9 and a 6%. Now, 1 6 is really, really going to be equivalent to, let's see, 6. 10 is divided by 6 one time. 10 minus 6 is 4. Carry down another 0. 6 into 40 is 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. Subtract. 40 minus 36 is 4. Bring down another 0. It's going to be 6 again. Goes to 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. And it's going to give you 4. And it's going to be bring up the decimal from your dividend to your quotient. It's going to be 0.1666. So 0.16 bar over it percent times 30 is going to be equal some value we don't know so we'll just let it equal x. Okie dokie. Um, let's rewrite this. Um, so it's 9 and, a six, one, nine and 16 hundredths with this bar over the 6% times 30. So let's just, um, instead of having to deal with the bar, just go ahead and just reduce this into an improper fraction. It'll be much easier. So 9 times 6 plus 1 is 54 plus 1 is 55 or 6, right? Um, and percent means divide by 100. So let's divide by 100. All right, so it's going to be 55 times 55 or 6 times 1 over 100. So I already found the reciprocal and this turned into multiplication. So it'll be 55 times 1 over 6 times 100, which is 600. And 55 over 600 times 30. That's going to give you X. Okay, and then 30 over 1. So find what's in common with your numbers. Um, what goes into 30 and 600? 30. So 30 divided by 30 is 1. 600 divided by 30 is um, 20. So it's going to be 55 over 20 equals x, right? So what goes into 55 and 20 is 5. So reduce both by greatest common factor of 5. It's going to be 11 over 4.